And welcome back to my Let's Play of Mega Man Legends. We are in the support car right after saving with the date of the Dancing Monkey to our left. And I just got through a little speech with Roll talking to me about the support car, all you can do with it, and all the, you know, typical things. Basically, she gives you a walkie-talkie where if you're in a bind somewhere, usually an open field, like, you can't you can't call her while you're in a ruin to pick, her, to pick you up and take you to safety. It just doesn't work that way. Basically, I'm here, we're going to develop some items, and I believe with the safety helmet I got in that previous fight, she should... Oh, Bloom Bear parts, right. I, I gathered these off screen. It only took like two minutes, don't worry about it. You didn't really miss anything. And we got the Machine Buster. And of course, the safety helmet, which is used to make the helmet. The helmet is very crucial because with certain attacks from enemies, they'll knock you down and you'll get secondary damage by hitting your head, and this completely gets rid of that. It makes it much easier on me. So I like this, and it makes him look, you know, professional. Alright, that's about it. Special weapons, change weapon, let's see what we have. We should have the mines, yes. And the other one we have is the machine buster, which has a decent attack power, I guess. I mean, it hasn't been upgraded yet, so... But it's got a good bit of energy, decent range, pretty good rapid, and special. Yeah. We're, we're just gonna leave that. I don't really use the special weapons very often. I actually pretty much stick mostly with the buster gun. It's just, I don't know, it's, that's what I've always done. Alright, we're gonna leave the support car. And make our way to the first ruin. Which I believe we do have access to now. Because of our previous endeavors. I'm gonna try and not get hit by a car over here. <coughs> so I almost did earlier off camera. Ah, oh, this, this theme song, I swear, gets stuck in your head. After all these years, I can still pretty much memorize it. I'm gonna go to the south gate, past the arcade, and past the area where the flutter crashed. But before that, I'm gonna take a detour in here, because I always love going in here. Because of the parts they offer! Which help me survive! Items, life gauge, extra pack. This adds one point of life to the canteen. Flak jacket, which I can't afford yet. Which I will be getting as soon as possible because those are very nice. Let's see, let's see what parts we can get. Not a whole lot that's better than what we have at the moment. So I'm just gonna say goodbye to this wench and out the door. And on we go! First, um, as impulse, I check. Yep, that's empty. With trash cans, I'm not sure if I mentioned this previously, previously or not. If you kick the trash can and it just wobbles and the, and the lid doesn't come off, then there's something inside it. But if the lid flies off and spins in the air and comes, comes back down, it means it's, it's empty. And I don't have to bother searching for it. <coughs> We're just going to take this convenient path right in front of us to get to the back area where the flutter was. As you can see, it's completely destroyed right there. And two kids playing on our lawn. Or actually, this is a construction work. Nope, nope, never mind, that's a kid. He looked like a construction worker from back here. Or not, okay. I'm sure there are construction workers in this game. That might be Legends 2. Which I will probably be doing a Let's Play on as well after I finish this one. But I haven't played that game in an even longer time, so I'm probably gonna play through it once before I do an actual Let's Play on it. And as I re recall, she freaks out because she was looking for mushrooms, and a bunch of... Well, the pirates pretty much come out of nowhere, and they're trying to get into the first ruin. She runs off somehow really fast. And we head to immediate danger. Why she goes towards the ruins, I have no idea. It's probably not any safer. But let's go through the giant wormhole of death. We've got to buy Miss Tron the time she needs to finish the robot! 
Okay, everybody, on your toes. Let's show Miss Tron what we can do. Sure. What do you want to do? Continue on, Mega Man! I've come to back you up, Mega Man. Woo. I may not be able to do much, but if you get in trouble, get inside the car, okay? She's pretty much a failsafe. Like, if I take too much damage, I'm guessing I, I've, I've actually never had to do it before because this part's not that difficult. But I'm guessing if I take too much health, I mean, too much damage, I can get in the support car and, you know, get out of here. But I don't feel like finding out today. Let's see if I can reach him. Nope. No, nope, not quite. Come on. There we go. The beauty of range. If you get Dead. in trouble, use the car as a shield. Gotcha the first time. Alright, we're gonna have these guys. I'm gonna take them out. Collect some zinni. Destroy this tank. How far? Woman! Oh, Mega Man, I'm so sorry. You better be. Oh, there's more right there. He's gonna do this circle strafe maneuver around him. Like every other boss or enemy has GOD! Are you aimed towards me, woman? Definition of useless! You! Oh my god! Okay. Let's take out this turret. Mortar thing. And now it's dead. Collect their health because the woman's useless. Take out this mortar. I'm dead. Get more health. Now we're back to full health. And I can't grab that Zane. And the one last tank over here. We're just gonna spread around. Roy and collect the Zenny. Now, if she can not run me over, she proceeds to ram down the fence in front of the first gate. Stand back! Stand back. Useless orange thing. And whammo, we are in. Here's the entrance to the very first ruin, which we'll be going into. This is actually one of the easier ones, of course it is the first one. Well, it's the first real one, pretty much, that you go into. For the storyline, there, there's, a, there's a few other optional ones you can go into for parts, spare stuff, money, all that, but we'll be going into those later. You can see it has a nice, you know, cool-looking bluish, icy tint to it. It's a pretty neat level. As you can see, there's the ledge up here that's pretty tempting, but at our current stage, we cannot grab it. So we're going to turn our blue selves around and proceed Can you hear me, Mega Man? to be interrupted I'm by a high energy reading from close by. It looks like it's a refractor. I can see it from here. And a big one, too. Pretty big, too. All right. Let's just walk up here. Is the refractor shielded? Nope. It's Most just encased in frozen urine. Some kind of shield. Nope, pretty sure You'll it's frozen to urine. The the frozen urine, not a shield. Okay. Then we're going to come up to this control panel. Nothing. And if you saw anything. before, I couldn't. Uh, he's kind of covering it now. Well, but there are three the slots in it. the console, which indicate three Remember, keys you must find throughout the ruin. Pretty simple do. concept. Of course, there's going to be some challenges in between. Which we must overcome. Door. Door. Room. Okay. As you can see, surveying the room, there's a there's three that I can count. Can't see the other ones. These little things are pretty much wasp nests. You get near them, little wasp things come out and fly at you, and they're you know they're usually wouldn't kill, but there's a bunch of them. And to stop them from coming out you kill the hives, obviously. And that little ninja f jumping like right there that just jumped down, those guys, well, they're like what I said, they're basically ninjas. In, s in further ruins in the game, they're actually invisible, and that's really annoying, but for the time being, you can see them. And their only attacks are basically they run at you, they s like do this little like slide ground maneuver thing, 
they're not that much of a threat, but if you stand in, if, if you stand in one place too long, they will get you. Now let's see if we can hit this high from back here. Yes, we can. And nothing's coming out. That's good. And we have up. Oh, never mind. They came out. Okay. Maybe I was wrong. But they seem to be too far away. Never mind. They see me. All right. I am on a wrong streak. Let's just kill this last one, and he is gone. Now let's see what I can do from up here before I go down down there where the ninjas are. Knock down this bridge. Jump across. Simple concept. Ninjas cannot get to me. Honestly, when I was a kid, I was terrified of the ninjas down there. I don't know why. They just look really gruesome and terrifying to me. But, you know. Ah! No, you don't. Nope. Ah! Wrong angle. Gotcha. Alright. There's the second hive gone, and here's the first key to the console. Easy as that for that one. Other two, not as easy, but not that difficult either. Let's see if we can ninja this one. Yep, we can hit him indeed. Dead, and here comes the little babies. Let's try and kill them from afar before they come after me. Come on, get over here so I can kill you. Come on. I'll worry about you later. Jump. Where do you go? Oh, we're about there. I'm gonna go through this door over here. Door. Door. Conveyor belt. Alright, these little guys who are very no. Nicely floating in the room. No. Are. Well, basically floating mines. You get near them, they say, ooh, pretty blue boy, float towards you, and if they get too close, they explode. Also, when you shoot them, they explode. So if they're right on you, don't shoot them. Yeah, just pick them off really fast. It's not that big of a threat, so it's not a big deal. And if I can remember from this part, there's a little conveyor belt, and one part of, part of it, a chest comes out, etc., 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 I'm gonna press this button, hit the switch, pull it, and things should start coming out of that. No. Right, no, 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 I have to open that thing fast first. Okay. Let's go through here. There's two ways to go. There's a chest right here, probably trap. Nope, it's good. Okay, nice. New weapon options later on. The first time you went no! Man. Not a time for re reminiscing. Woman. Okay, and as you can see from these little blocks, the blue ones, if you step on them, they will break after after like half a second. So you don't want to step up. Well, don't be on them too long. And basically, we this chest in front of us. Most people try and open it before the blue ice breaks, but really, it's frozen shut, and you it has to land on the conveyor belt down there. So we're just gonna run across this and break it. And as you can see, it falls down and goes with with the conveyor belt. And that wall over there will stop it, so we don't, we don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna run over here, see what's through this door. I kind of forgot. Right, right, this place. Okay, there should be a chest over here, which let me see. Spring set. This is for our next or our our jump upgrade, which will be very useful. And of course, Magman goes sticking his hands in the wall. Old bone. That's some kind of antique thing that we use later on for a certain like side mission thing. Right. I totally know what this does, and I have not forgotten whatsoever. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with. Never mind, we'll figure it out in a second. I'm pretty sure they open with the keys or something, I don't know. Let's just go. Nothing here for us, because down there is just the, you know, the first room. Door. Got a 
Alrighty. Oh. 